Okay, so let's so let's talk a little bit. I mean, one of the things I really found interesting you know, in terms of what I'm doing with ePedaler, I, I I what I'm looking for is a bike to go with this system that I'm developing that does some things that that you kind of already I I think developed here. For example, the wellness or fitness part of that. So let's let's talk a little bit about how you take an electric motor on a bicycle and monitor somebody's level of fitness and their heart rate. That really intrigues me. Yes. So, uh, so one of the uh, uh, things strategically we had, we had done was to gravitate towards and plus protocol. Okay. Uh, now that uh, protocol uh, is inbuilt in our motor and our uh, console. Okay, so explain explain for people who don't know, including myself. I think I've heard the term, but explain what is ANT plus A N T plus. What is that? So this is uh, one of the protocols which was uh, uh, developed by Garmin. Okay, and it is widely used protocol in uh, in bicycle sports. Okay, so you have got several. Uh, cadence meters, heart rate meters, power meters, which operate on this protocol. Okay. Right. So uh, it allows us uh, compatibility uh, with a lot of those devices. Okay. So if I've got a, a, a Garmin watch or something like, you know, one of these devices that let me track my heart rate and so on. That's that yes. would be that would be necessary. In other words, you're not picking up my heart rate by how I'm holding the handlebars. <laughs> no, you you would need yeah. you, so so in order for us to read your heart rate, there is a heart rate strap okay. and plus heart rate strap which you can uh, you know which you can uh, uh, mount on your chest. Okay, uh, you can, all right. And, got, and, I actually have one downstairs, although it's a Polaris instead. But yes, uh, yes, yes. So so uh, so the way we are evolving the product is that you have got on our bicycle. Uh, essentially, you don't need a trainer. So you could install the bicycle uh, on a on a on a you know just a bicycle stand right. uh, and turn the motor into a generator. Ah, okay. Right, and uh, and you could uh, and you could uh, control the regeneration. Right, so you could control the regeneration through the console, and you could make it uh, light or you can make it hard, right. depending upon how you want your, your heart yeah. heart rate to be. Yep. Okay. Right. So that is that is the basic setup we have today. You know, in in, in our uh, in our uh, system. Okay. Uh, uh, one would be to be able to uh, uh, do uh, uh, heart rate control. You know, when you're riding it, we control the uh, motor so that you maintain your heart rate. Oh, and okay. You have a target heart rate. Right. And you say, well, I want to have a target heart rate of 120. So if you go above that heart rate, we give you know we, we increase the level of assistance you have, and if you go below that heart rate, we withdraw the assistance yeah. from the motor. Is there any way? I'm just speaking, you know, theoretically at, at this point. Is there any way to do that without having to put this strap around my chest, which obviously you know some guy wouldn't mind, but probably some woman's going to have a problem. You know, you're you're think, that's I, I'm thinking in terms of you know when they're out riding. Or in my particular case, where we're actually wanting to rent these bikes to people, and that when they take the ride, it provides them with not only you know the the, the fun part, but also some physiological information, some physiological feedback. Yes, I mean to, 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 we 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 don't have it today uh, in the bicycle, uh, but theoretically, uh, you could uh, input your weight information in the console. Right, and as you're riding it, uh, it would cal it would basically calculate your, uh, you know, we, we could uh, your ca calories burnt. Right. Well, that right? which is so, yeah, which is sort of what I'm what I'm looking for here. Um, but I, what I'm interested in though is that how do you separate how do, how does the system know between the contributions made by my muscles and the contributions being made by the electric motor? How do you yes. differentiate those? Yes, uh, there, there are. Uh, so uh, based on your input, based on your input, uh, you can actually compute 
you know, let's say what is the total, total calories burned. Right. And you could take out the motor contribution from it and you can say, okay, this is effectively what you have contributed. Okay. And now is that something you have possible now or is that something that needs to be developed yet? No, that's something which we have been working on. Oh, okay. We, we have, and, and we have got uh, uh, a good amount of R&D going into this. Uh, where we, we are able to uh, provide this, uh, you know, uh, uh, to the consumers. Okay. So let's talk about now. I I want to talk to you about this more at a later time when we're not so public about it, because obviously there are things that I want to chat about with, with respect to my business. Uh, but let's let's talk about. So you were recently, I believe, over at the uh, Eurobike show. Um, what uh, what kind of reception uh, did you did you have over there? And you know who are you talking with? And where where might I expect to see th this system being deployed in the future on whose bikes? Yes, I mean we are, we are at Eurobike every year. Uh, we have got now seventy dealers and OEMs internationally. Okay. And uh, our uh, reception is uh, quite good. You know we are we we are really focused on uh, on uh, uh, small to medium scale OEMs. Okay. Right. We are not focused on large OEMs. Uh, we uh, are deliberately growing organically or deliberately growing uh, because we, we want to have a very strong foundation. Okay. And we don't want to have the product all over the place. Yeah. So we, we select our OEMs quite, quite uh, carefully, quite diligently, and people who we work very closely with. Okay. So it is not like throwing the product over to a company and say, here, you know, it's a great product, you can use it. So uh, we uh, 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 so we are very happy with that. We have got a very, uh, you know, we have got key partnerships in Europe. We are developing key partnerships in, in the U.S. and Canada. And, and we like it. You know, the way it's evolving, uh, we like it uh, uh, that, uh, you know, people understand the product. All right. People understand the R and D which has gone behind it. You know, people understand that it is not. Uh, you know, we are still able to deliver a cutting edge technology, and we don't have a, a team of uh, eighty people and two hundred million dollars behind like Bosch has spent. Right. Right. That we can still change the world with uh, with uh, creative ideas and with a small team. Right. Okay. It's like it's like the movie Three Hundred. You know, we. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that only that only worked for a while, and it worked in a very narrow pass. <laughs> well, we have you know the market is uh, is is uh, is is uh, at the right place for us. You know, right place at the right time, and uh, and uh, we are more like what Apple was. You know. Uh, when 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 uh, the PC was you know taking over the world, right, right. So so that's that's the way we see it, and that's the way we want to keep yeah. it at least for a while. Well, you, okay. So you've got competitors, obviously. You've got um, the, the, the the guys up in. God, why does it suddenly slip my mind now? Uh, Bionix, yes, Canada. Well, you, yeah, well, you've got you know the guys up in in Canada. You've got uh, what Crystal X or Crystal Light or something like that. So another Chinese uh, hub motor kit that you know that you can buy that type of thing so how do how do you how you know how where do you stand in terms of pricing in that sort of that kind of range and can are you only doing this to 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 oems or are you making it available as a kit for uh, for dealers to install or, or individuals yes so uh we uh, uh all right so we have a number of uh, we don't really compete with Bionix or Crystallite. Okay. You know, we, we are more focused on our strengths. Okay. Uh, our strengths are that uh, we have got a tremendous amount of technology, and uh, and we have got a tremendous amount of reliability and performance. Okay. Right. And uh, so we don't consider you know, other hub motors as our competition because they don't have uh, anything which is what we have. And, and it is not, uh, you know, people who use Crystallite are not our customers. You know, it's, it's, it's you know, we have, when we do an installation over a system and it's installed on a bike, it's a very clean install. Okay. You know, you don't have 
uh, a bunch of wires coming out and you don't have these controllers and you don't you're not you know uh, we, we are all about making the bicycle experience very unique yeah right we're not targeted towards okay let's let's uh, let's have a you know uh, just put a bicycle together we got some batteries we got some wires we got this and that it has to be a very uh, you know, from an experience standpoint, a unique experience for the for the for the customer. Right. So, to ultimately, do I end up? I guess so the other thing too is is that what I'm looking for is I want something that is not markedly different from a regular bicycle. You know, if you looked at this and, and uh, compared it to, for example, the the city bike or the capital bike shares. They would look pretty close. There might be a little bit of difference in the size of that that rear hub, but they look somewhat similar. Is that something that that's is that possible? Um, I guess I, I uh, let let me let me have your question again. Okay, what, well, exactly? I, well I, yeah, well, I'm just trying to figure out is is that where where does the, where where does your motor sort of fit in terms of making the motor and the whole bicycle, electric bicycle disappear and it becomes, it looks like a regular bicycle. Doggone near weighs about the same as a regular bicycle. How, how close are you, you know, to getting to that point? Yeah, I think, I think uh, today, you know, we still have got uh, uh, motor, obviously, you know, uh, motor weight is not zero. So, so obviously that is still a problem in being able to have even a four and a half kilogram motor. Uh, so, so I think that motor weight uh, uh, needs to go down. Uh, people have tried to, and, 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 and the bottom bracket obviously is not a solution because it makes the whole uh, bottom bracket look very pregnant. And, uh, and the battery still is, is uh, I think, uh, you know, uh, I, I think people have come up with very smart solutions for batteries, but still batteries are still bulkier. Yeah. So, so I think from a, from a whole standpoint of uh, future, we are still very far away from having a true ingenious electric bicycle. Okay. Right. I think eventually we have to have, uh, have a, a motor which weighs merely a kilogram or, or less. Is that right? doable? And, yes, I think it is doable. Okay. It is doable to be able to have a motor which is a kilogram or less. And you have a very nice integration of of uh, of of the motor in the bicycle, um, and and uh, and it, it can't be a bottom bracket solution because uh, that is just uh, 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 very inefficient. Uh, in order to have any kind of efficiency, you have to spin the motor at very high speed, and then you have a chair, uh, you have a chain which is linking you to the road. Right, uh, yeah. which is which is uh, I, I think a wrong way to do things. Yeah. Uh, it has to be the direct transfer of power of the assistance uh, from the tire, from the motor to the tire to the road, and uh, and the batteries are concerned. Yes, I mean the lithium-ion batteries are still. I think uh, 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 we are in dark ages when it comes to battery technology. You know, it's it's a. Uh, uh, we have, you know, as a humankind, we have spent uh, uh, millions of dollars, many years to be able to, uh, you know, we are not even close to what nature has given us in terms of, uh, you know, energy density. Yeah. You know, so it's it's a long ways to be able to go and 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 have something which is safe uh, and which can, you know, can be in a really tiny water bottle and give us a you know good good amount of uh, range for yeah. electric bicycles. Yeah. Well I think the photograph that you sent me was uh, of a mountain bike that looked like it had kind of a long elongated water bottle there uh, mounted to the frame and that obviously is the battery pack. So Yes, yeah, 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 cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well look, I would I'd love to keep this this conversation going but uh, it is we're we're getting on here and we want to make sure that we get you back to work, but I do want to uh, let me let me do this. I'm going to send you uh, something that I put together, um, and we can maybe discuss that offline because I think what you've developed here is basically a lot of what I'm looking for for what I want to do. So, so let's chat about that. So, if you're willing, yes, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, right. we, uh, thank you for your time, Bill, uh, and really appreciate. Uh, 
uh, appreciate this tremendously. And yes, I would love to be able to talk to you more. Okay, good. Well, do me do me also a favor, and if you can, maybe get me some nice photographs of the motors, or yes. maybe a uh, you know example of uh, you know of a, bra a bike with it that I can use. It needs to be a fairly large you know format. So if you can do that, that would be great. I would love to do that, uh, Bill. Good, thank you. Okay, Rick Hash, I appreciate your taking the time and uh, look forward to keeping the dialogue going and maybe even doing business together. <laughs> oh, that sounds wonderful, Bill. Thank you so All much. Right. I really appreciate it. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.